and so the present is very important it's like okay you're going there where are you now and it's important to sometimes open up these stories and to ask yourself kaun ho tum aur ja kahan rahe ho who are you and where are you going where are you and where are you going yeah now this is something for self and this is something in your coaching conversations because how is your client any different from you and you're not letting the client to walk through those valleys without you being there for them you know that's experience otherwise it's a rumor otherwise it's a rumor and then and then you let to understand this so well what do you want is here and where are you now is here now definitely there is something which is stopping you that's your obstruction that's your limiting belief that's your impedance or that's your hindrance and what you're saying is i want the resource i want the resource i want the resource but if you want the resource and if you're not aligned this is the truth where are you now and what do you want you see where are you now and what do you want the story is the same and we are talking of the multi dimensions they are saying i want to live in bandra i am in santa cruz i i i want the money but i don't have the money you know we are living the same story in whichever dimension we look at and therefore we need to plug into something larger than the resource like tony robin says we need to step into the resource fullness and what is the state of resource fullness the rate the state of resource fullness is very simple it is to recognize that the resources are within me that's what my teacher taught me and then she also added that if it if you think it's not within you it's within your reach you need to go within or a little out you need to stretch that and go beyond dick my teacher told me the resources are within self and judy says the resources are within reach so when that state is a state of resourcefulness where you are congruent you are aligned you are in ecology without this even if you get the resources it's going to deplete it's going to dry it's going to kill because people will say i don't have the computers how do i work you give them the computer they will say now i don't have the internet what does what do i do with the computer you give them the internet and the computer they'll say but i don't know what to do i don't have employees you give them the employee the internet and the computer now they'll tell you these employees are useless they can't communicate they don't have the skills you give them all of it they'll find another reason it's not the resources it's the resource fullness that takes you away from that dream from that story it's not the lack of resources robin says it's the lack of the ability to be true to your own self shakespeare says and now when you connect you will realize that it's basic reality i need to i need to say those fucking truth in front of those adversities standing in front of that mirror looking not on that image but can you now transcend from where you are look into these eyes these eyes not those image look into this eyes from there and can you truthfully say some truth and now the shift happens so what really happens in a coaching conversation what really happens in a coaching conversation what is that the coach is doing the coach is only eliciting states and behaviors and blah 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 and blah 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 and giving it to the client they fix it if you think you're fixing it hello there's a problem there you're you're creating dependency they are fixing it so why do they come to you they come to you because they want to see a little more what do you do you let them see more you let them see their blind spots do you fix it for them hello do you give them your resources hello you do not right you you help them plug into their own state of resourcefulness and if you think they do not have it you find out where that is for them could be their parents their teachers a film star you help them model the genius you help them reach out to genius wherever the genius is and genius can be anyone genius is someone who is doing something excellent in their environment could be the guy next door could be your parent could be anybody 
So what's important on the goal is to stand in front of the mirror and to look at yourself and to tell some truth, some bold truth, some truth about relations, some truth about your health, some truth about the money, truth about those areas which you've been talking differently on social media, some truth, some real truth. And when you're able to do that, when you're able to do that, you will realize that all these goals are nothing but a vision. They're all vision. What's vision? Vision is the dream of the future. Mm -hmm. And how do you choose your vision of the future? You choose your vision of the future, provided it can be filtered through the filter of values. If it's valuable, it's with you. If I tell you, if I tell Shamim, hey, Shamim, let's write a book together. And Shamim may say, yes, let's do it. That's my value. That's my vision. That's what I want to do. But if Shamim says, uh, let me come back to you tomorrow, not her primary value. And she, she needs to think. And if she comes back after a day, maybe she's planting something. Maybe she's creating space for something. You see, that's where sometimes we get into creation of more. And I'm not saying more is right or wrong or good or bad. Like access consciousness says, right, wrong, good, bad. The moment you stop looking at the world from these four filters, I think you create more because life is beyond this dimension of right, wrong, good, bad. What's your filter for evaluation? Oh, well, if, did, if, if at all you evaluated from these four points, I'm saying it's a wasted evaluation, go beyond. And therefore... I say sustainability is not something that you look through the eyes of economy. And that's the difference. Sustainability is not something that you begin to look from, whether it's economical or not, because somehow economy helps you justify everything that you do because it's bringing in profitability. No. Look where we've reached. I was just reading that the last ice shelf of Canada, which is as big as Manhattan, broke because it was profitable. It was, now can you go beyond and think what sustainability is? Can you go beyond and think what sustainability is? It's beyond those bucks. So how do you understand this vision? This vision is something which you, you filter through your values. If it fits in the filter of values, you would say, hey, I'm going to do it. This evening you're here because something matched with your value. If it didn't match with your value and if you're still here, it means you were just pleasing somebody. You're here for a different reason and the reason is not you. And if you're anywhere where you are not the reason, now that's not a good reason for ecology, for congruence, for alignment. You see, since we have limited number of everything, why would you waste it, like Job says, living the dogma of somebody else?